It is the 5th of the 3rd, 2013. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOD.net. Furious snowstorm descends on Chicago. 1,000 flights canceled. Oh, this one just barely missed us here in Des Moines. Mother Nature is apparently saving the best, or at least the biggest, for last. Chicago residents expected to find themselves in the midst of a storm that can wind up dumping as much as 10 inches of snow in the area before the end of Tuesday. And the most since 2011 blizzard that, and it is more than 20 inches of snow. This will be the biggest widespread storm of the winter, the National Weather Service meteorologist Amy Seeley said. The forecast is for 8 to 10 inches throughout the northeast Illinois and northern Indiana, a far cry from last March which we saw less than a half inch of snow, which was the warmest on record in Illinois. Of course, crazy weather going all the way around. It just seems like we've been getting hit with these storms. Boom, 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 boom. Here in the United States in the past few weeks. New study says volcanic eruptions can dramatically cool the planet. New studies? Um, yeah, okay. Um, giant ice meteors fall from clear skies. 20 pound chunks of falling ice on a sunny day, it's no urgent or urban myth. Climate experts have long warned that the global warming could bring an increase in extreme weather, such as hurricanes and drought. They never mentioned 20 pound chunks of ice falling from the clear blue sky, tearing through roofs, roofs shattering windshields, and gouging impact craters, yet reports of such clear sky icefall events have been on the rise worldwide in recent years. And in February, Spanish researchers offered further evidence that increase could be due to climate change. Uh, caravan roof smashed by shard of frozen human waste dropped by passenger jet. These are one of those horror stories uh, that get out now and again. Second sinkhole forms from Senefer, Florida, two miles from the one that killed Jeff Bush. Uh, that's the guy who died in his bed when the sinkhole fell out underneath his floor. Um, strange things indeed in Florida, but that's a very sinkhole prone area. I grew up in Orlando. Uh, sinkhole that swallowed Florida man grows. Search called off and house to be demolished. Sad, sad story. Snowstorm expected to cause hazardous travel over the U.S. Midwest. And of course, here we go again, one big storm after another. And uh, where's the other story here? Australian climate on steroids after hottest summer. Australia weather went on steroids over summer and it saw unprecedented heat wave, bushfires, and floods. The climate chief said Monday, warming that global warming would only make things worse. And they're reporting tornadoes, which is damn near unheard of uh, in Australia, and all the other craziness that's going on uh, down under. Foul odor reported off of Santa Monica Bay, methane from ocean blamed. A coastal re residents near Santa Monica awoke to a foul odor Sunday that probably was caused by large release of methane in the ocean, authorities said. A fire departments in Los Angeles and Santa Monica began receiving calls shortly after dawn from residents as far north as Sunset Villa Boulevard and south of Venice Beach reporting a rank smell blowing off the Santa Monica Bay. And, uh... Yeah, Santa Monica Fire Hazardous Materials team took readings off the coast near San Vincent Boulevard and found methane in the water, said communications officer Justin Walker. And the story goes on and on, of course. Um, a lot of times they're saying this is due to tectonic plate stress and uh, a big methane release, you know, heads up on an earthquake. That could be a sign. But uh, again, I'm not a scientist. e, &E News, the nuclear stuff. Got a lot of craziness going on here. Fukushima 50 special, check it out, Unit 4 pool had boiled dry, raising the specter of a nuclear fission chain reaction. Feared a nearby nuclear plant would be evacuated. Um, the insanity continues, that, that is the story of 311. Cattlemen, condition I've never seen before near Fukushima plant. More than a skin disease, they have nasty spots. I believe it is caused by the explosion, or the plutonium, or the MOX fuel that they were illegally using. Um, the insanity continues. Fukushima Special Mother, everyone's immune system has become weaker. The children's bodies are changing, and this is just the beginning.
just the beginning. Strange skin condition on cows near Fukushima plant. What about all those walruses and seals they were testing off the coast of Alaska last year? Uh, we never did hear the conditions on that, did we? Obama to pick a lead to pick lead EPA is from the official air and radiation in charge of troubled radnet during Fukushima peak. Uh, so Obama's pick is the person that shut off the rad network right after Fukushima happened. And we really don't know um, the levels that we got or supposedly shut it down. Tokyo professor, uh, rad nodules are being released continuously into ocean from Fukushima plant coming from somewhere around reactor housings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be three full nuclear uh, melt-throughs and corium in the environment below these nuclear power plants seeping into the Pacific Ocean and uh, the insanity. 69% of people surveyed across Japan expressed concern about the impact of radioactive material on their health or that of their families. 69%? God, I love surveys. Large release of methane off the Los Angeles coast. Unusual concentrations detected by hazmat crews. Gas may be from shift and tectonic plates. Heads up. Radiation expert after 311. Don't just leave Tokyo. Leave the country if possible. Journalist, I'm losing my words. And I've been going on about this, and several of us have been going on about this. Um, that the radiation levels in Japan are not what they're saying they are. And uh, yeah, you need to get the hell out of there. Aaron Brockovich headed to giant Louisiana sinkhole. Quote, we are in desperate need. Aaron Brockovich's lawyer um, company's going down to take on Texas brine. So you know something's up and the money's good. Uh, I've seen reports of cracks as far as 50 miles away from this thing. And the ground is confirmed sinking. Uh, CBS News, mind boggled mistakes at leaking U.S. nuclear site. The changes of catastrophic event are real. Uh, the former governor has a video. Um, yeah, that, this is the Hannaford plan. You gotta, you gotta ask yourself after decades and decades of stories of these tanks leaking. Up to 67 is the number now. Um, again, with 40 miles of just unlined trenches they've been dumping shit into for uh, for decades uh, that this story has finally broken um, when the radiation from the Fukushima disaster in the ocean is finally um, catching up to the west coast of the United States so are they going to try to pass the blame off uh, from Fukushima on to um, this other crisis on the Columbia River is uh, beyond insanity and uh, of course the lawyers have taken control of the building and uh, Jesus. Uh, shock question mark. Major Japan paper, cancer risk in Fukushima, probably infinitesimal. More radioactive contamination should be allowed in food and where people live. Don't question burning disaster debris. And they are. They're burning that disaster debris in open incinerators. And where does that wind take all this fallout? Over the United States and Canada, of course. Some leaders in the U.S. soaring on nuclear power cost. Tea Party conservatives, Republicans pet up, fed up with soaring budgets. Give me a break. It's a big shell game. These bastards are all in bed together. Uh, years later, deaths occur frequently in the city 85 kilometers from Fukushima plant. Area is contaminated and residents don't know it. Bomb squad, squad called out after explosive device found near nuclear reactor. Definitely one to look into. Uh, Fukushima film premiere. Tears from a local official. Quote, not allowing the children to escape is murder. And I agree. 67 tanks are suspected leakers at new U.S. nuke site. The stuff inside melts the instruments, eats rubber and plastic. 67 is the official number out of 149 single line tanks and uh, of course the trenches they didn't even bother lining but don't worry folks <laughs> uh, officials discuss danger of deflagration at leaked US nuclear site in in our common words a boom 
Okay, so they're saying if they get into these tanks and start messing around, it's probably the consistency of peanut butter. Um, just the goop part of this. And um, if they try moving this stuff around too much, it could heat the tanks up and cause a boom. High concentration of Fukushima radioactive substance found in land animals, frogs, was 6,700 becquerels per kilogram outside evacuation zone. And these zones have been declared safe long ago. Japanese official credits typhoons with helping spread Fukushima fallout. And I was telling you for months and months, look at that big storm over that fallout. Pushing it all. Where? Where is it pushing it all? Fukushima cleanup workers break silence, ordered to dump debris into river. Government appeared not to believe him. <laughs> I uh, would tend to believe him. And that's about all I am going to cover today. Uh, of course, I'll be back later with more stuff. Um, leave your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.